So once again, let's try out the co-pilot feature for the sidetrack. Remember, you have to activate this modus for each of the individual ones. So follow mode, uh, dolly track mode and sidetrack mode. These are the only three modes at the moment where this feature is available, coming very soon. And in order to do that, I switched on sidetrack. I enabled the flight path adjustment and I sent the drone up on this side now. Let's see what happens. So the hover is now up, it's tracking me, which I can see by this green window. And at this point, I can actually move it around me, which is quite nice, because if I want it to follow me as I go along, but I want to change the direction, I can do this. I can turn it now with the use of the beacon to the other side, and it still continues doing the side tracking as I'm moving along. I can also adjust a little bit the height I just could be very, very mindful that I'm not pressing the pause or the home button because if I do this, then it will easily stop. So now I'm going to move it to the other side by using the side button and turning it around. Okay, let's move to the other side. And it's still doing the tracking feature here. You still can see the green button. Uh, you can still see the green box following me. Um, so that feature actually works very, very nice. You can also bring it closer or you can put it further away. But I can see this for people who are out in the field, whether it's fast or slow, and there's a lot of movement, they need to adjust the flight path. Previously, that was quite a bit of a challenge. Now, this is very easily adjustable with this new co-pilot feature, which is a lovely combination of both the autonomous flying of the hover, but then also combined with the manual features and the additional capabilities that the beacon is giving you. Um, let's try this again. Let's get a little bit down. Let's get a little bit up. And then we can also change the distance as we do that. We can bring it closer or bring it further apart. And also again down and it will still continue with its tracking as you can see here brilliant feature and then obviously once you want to bring it back you can press the button here you can activate the manual control and you can then bring the drone back to you um, very very easy very very simple all with the beacon you don't even need the joysticks with that and i'm personally i'm a fan of the beacon only hope you enjoyed that guys